the Blazers. UAB lined is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. About the 23 yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Second down and 12. Ball on the 23. And they make the stop right around the 24 yard line. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Oh, excellent punt. And he's still on his feet. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. The Blazers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Pass is tipped away. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. He's on the run. That scramble gets them seven yards. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. And he throws it away. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Caught out of the open. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 32. Set. Wide 80. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Passing into coverage, and this one's going to be picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Nice run there. Yardage. 
point. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Brought down at the 41. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. From the 41-yard line, second down. And he is drilled at the 33. They'll get him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. They'll call on the field goal unit. Army is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He just got to stick to the game plan. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Second and 10, ball on their own 25. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Complete. He's got room. He steps out at midfield. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Ready! Flat Flat hot. 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 They'll bring him down at the 39. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From the 39 yard line. First down. Inside give. Nice run to the left there. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings him second and one. Ready! Ready! He's in trouble. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From the 33-yard line, it's third down. Oh. And he's level at the 20. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it first and 10. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3-0, Army. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Around the 11 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings this is the ninth game. play of this drive. Tight right, tight right. Let's go one more. Check four, check four. Ready. Motion, motion. Red 18. Red 18. <laughs> and they get nice yardage on that run. Game seven on the play. That makes it's first down, more. and they'll be looking for six points here. He's 
taken down at the 40 yard line. That brings him second and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Makes it out to about the 39. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. UAB holds a four-point lead. He gets sacked on the play. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Oh, a big hit there to stop it. Defensive stand carries over to their offense. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. That makes it second and ten. And now he pitches it. He's tackled at about the 21. That's a team one on the play. That'll make it 39. Wants to go long and does. Can't connect. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down to the 35-yard line. 
The Blazers get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. From their own 35-yard line, second down, UAB is up by four. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it 37. Solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset and are very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. scrambling and they make the stop around the 32 yard line strong play by the defense but they'll come up just shy of the stop from their own 32 yard line it's first down scrambling around he's to the 40 tackle at the 49 credit some of that to the blitz. The offensive line just wasn't able to handle all the pressure on that play. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. UAB is up four. fallen incomplete. A great first half comes to a close. 7-3, Blazers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The expectation coming into this game is that both offenses would do what they've pretty much done in the past. Come up with these big plays, explosive chunk plays. The defense has done a great job being able to take them away. No, absolutely. And that's that's goal number one. And especially when you face an explosive offense, you know what they can do. And especially offenses like this, like you're talking about, when they hit the home run. You know, next thing you know, you look up, the guy's hit his head on the goalpost, and he just went 70-plus yards. And you really want to try to limit the damage. And that's what you've done in the first half. You've made good tackles. Sometimes you got to make a difficult open field tackle on a wide receiver that is fast that knows how to get to the end zone, but you know they've done enough of that in the first half to limit the damage and not give up too many big plays. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. UAB holds a four-point lead. Slings it. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Side. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's got an opening. He makes his way out to about the 35. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big gain. They come out in a five-wide set. Out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 32-yard line. Second down. Ready, green, uh -huh. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. with his defense. I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Blazers. Put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Blazers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll get in for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. So it's second and 12. Ball in the 23. Gets rid of this one. Larry, Larry. Mike 51, Mike 51. We ain't giving him nothing. Here comes the pressure. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Booming kick. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Passes it to the middle of the field. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Let's go! On the run. He takes it right side for a good game. Seven yards. yards. First, First down. down. Set. Red 85. Red. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's second and 12. Ball on the 44 yard line. Set up a first and goal. In the four middle yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. First down. They've got the defense on their heels Mike, now. It's first and goal. Mike, six. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, watch number five. Number five. Right. Touchdown, Touchdown, UAB. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tackled at the 33. That makes it second and two. Gain of a yard by the fullback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. 
he's taken down at the 31. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. The Blazers aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall is much better here in the second half. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Great passing was the key to the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's level at the 43. One more quarter to play. 21-3, UAB. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Gets out to around the 48. That's a gain of nine on the play. From the 48-yard line, first down. And he's taken down at around the 48-yard line. The defense was all over that draw play. They get very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. for the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So the sack makes this third and very long. hit immediately. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Oh, excellent punt. And this one's going out of the end zone for the touchback. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. A man in and out of his hands. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Mike 51, Mike. Here we go. Passes to the right. It's picked off. Touchdown, Blazers. Splits the uprights with the extra point. UAB is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The Blazers have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. He 
scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. Caught out of the open, and down he goes. At about the 43-yard line. That makes it third and three. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Just under three to go in regulation. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it at the 12. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Makes it to the 27. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Easy, easy, easy. Box two, box two. <laughs> Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle at the 34-yard line. Number 16 is on the tackle at the 34-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger! This one's in the books, and our final score, 28 to three, Blazer. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.